Now that the perimeter is cut for the window mat, the next thing we're going to do is cut the window. So there's a couple things that you will need. So the first thing is you can actually remove the artwork from your space uh, and just put it somewhere safe uh, for, for right now. You don't need that anymore because you've measured it. Uh, you don't need it when you're cutting the window. You will need it once the window is cut. Uh, a pencil, you definitely want a pencil, an eraser just in case you need that. Uh, and then you may also find that you need an X-Acto or a utility knife. Um, sometimes uh, situations pop up where those are helpful. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to go over and get the mat cutter. So the Logan mat cutter, again, um, it might be out here in the drawer with the other Altos mat cutters, or you may have to ask an art teacher to get one for you. Uh, you will need uh, one of these scraps to use with the mat cutter. Uh, so make sure that you grab one of those. Uh, and then I'll show you kind of what's in this box uh, for cutting your window mat. So in this box, you're going to find the bevel cutter. And so this is going to cut the window uh, for the artwork to show through uh, in the mat. And it cuts at a nice 45 degree angle to create this nice beveled edge on the inside of the window. So it does have a sharp blade in there uh, that kind of goes out and then it retracts and that helps you to cut just the window and nothing more. Uh, and so you just wanna be careful with that when you're unboxing it. Also inside the Logan mat cutter box um, is the mat maker. And so this is going to help us to get the measurements set up um, for the top sides and bottom of the mat. Uh, and it's also gonna help us control our cutting of the window to make sure that it gets nice straight uh, sides. Okay, so once you have the mat cutter back at your workstation, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna take this long sh uh, scrap of mat board and you wanna tuck this in underneath the straight edge part. And that's going to give your blade something to uh, cut into. If you don't do that, you could end up actually damaging the straight edge part of the mat cutter um, and we don't want that. It also causes your window to get a little like kind of fuzzy edges um, on it. So you definitely want to have this long scrap inside of the mat cutter uh, to help you cut the window. All right. And then what I want to point out is um, where we're going to shift kind of to draw. First, we're going to draw the lines for our window and then we're going to do the actual cutting. Um, and so what you're going to see is you're going to see that there's kind of like a ruler here. Um, and so it has inches and then it also has centimeters, but we're working in inches. So you want to pay attention to that. Um, and then you're going to see this uh, little sign here. It says read scale from this side. Uh, and so we're going to shift this um, to those two inch and two and a half inch measurements. You'll remember the two inches is for the top and the sides and the two and a half is for the bottom. So let me show you how you do that. So you're gonna see there is a screw at the bottom. We're gonna just loosen that a little bit and a screw at the top. We wanna loosen that as well. And then we're gonna come back down to our scale here and we wanna make sure that this side is set right at the two inches to start. Once it is lined up there, then we're just going to tighten these just so they're like fingertip tight, don't over tighten them. Um, you want this to be locked into place, um, but you also wanna be able to open these screws again. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Okay, and then I'm gonna push my scrap um, right in uh, against that straight edge. When it comes to cutting the window, you wanna make sure that again, you're working on the back of your mat board. Uh, you don't wanna make, you don't wanna work on the front because we're gonna be drawing the inches, we're gonna be drawing lines for the cutting here. And we're also going to do the cutting on the back. Uh, so that way the beveled edge is facing the correct direction. Okay, so now that I have the scale set to two inches for the sides and the top, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm gonna slide my mat board and you might remember that the back should be up because all my lines and all my cutting is going to be done on the back. Okay, and so I am gonna do the sides. So here I'm doing the left side at two inches, the top at two inches, and the right at two inches. And now I'm going to shift this scale. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these screws just a bit so I can slide it. I'm gonna shift it out. To two and a half. Once it's there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just tighten these. That long scrap is gonna get pushed in against the straight edge. I'm gonna rotate my mat 
So the bottom is against the straight edge, and then I'm going to draw my two and a half inch line. All right, at this point, now that I have all four sides drawn out, I'm ready to do the cutting. So just a reminder, you want to be extra careful with this because it does slide in and out. And so we're going to look at this bevel cutter and we're going to notice that there's a line here. Um, and so you want to keep the blade up. So this particular one is a little loose. So you may want to make sure that you're holding the blade up. Uh, there are two little grippers here that actually go on to this track, which is quite nice. And then to know where I'm going to start cutting. So where I'm going to actually push that blade in at, okay, I'm keeping it in for now, up for now, is I'm going to line this silver line up with the line that is closest to me. So I'm cutting this edge here, starting here. Um, I make sure the silver, make sure it's matched up with the silver line. I like to put a thumb and a finger here and then push this into the mat board. Once it's pushed in, I move this hand here onto the straight edge and then I go ahead and I cut. You want to make sure that you're being nice and controlled because you want to stop when that silver line matches up with this line that's furthest away. If you feel like, oh, it might not have gone through, you can always go back and cut it again. I recommend doing that before you move the mat board out. So if you just had that gut feeling, I would just go ahead and cut again. I wouldn't pull it out of the mat maker and check. I would just do it. Okay, so now for the sides and the top, I need to adjust the straight edge again to two inches. Okay, match it up with the two, tighten the screws, put the piece back in, and I'm gonna rotate my window mat. Again, still on the back of the mat. And I'm gonna repeat the step that I did last time. So I'm lining my silver line up with the line that's closest to me, sinking the blade in, moving this hand here, cutting away from me until that silver line matches up with the other line. If I feel like it didn't go through, I can go ahead and cut it again. Okay. And then I can just rotate. I don't have to change the um, setting here. and rotate for the last side. And after this step, we hope that the window just falls right out. But if it doesn't, I have some tricks to help you. Okay. Okay, so that fell right out. Now, sometimes students have situations where like one corner is hanging in um, or there's part that didn't cut through like on a whole edge. If that's the case, you can certainly go back, make sure that the mat maker is set to the width that you need it to be, whether it's two inches for the top and the sides or two and a half for the bottom. And you can try recutting um, the whole edge. But if it's just a corner, what I would actually recommend um, is getting yourself a nice sharp X-Acto knife keeping the window kind of where it was, um, and then just sliding the X-Acto kind of at that 45 degree angle. Of course, be careful that you're not gonna um, accidentally cut your hand or anything like that, um, but just kind of sliding it through at that 45 degree angle to go ahead and cut it um, away. If at that point you have kind of any fuzzy edges, a little bit of sandpaper can sometimes help um, those things, but hopefully you end up um, with something like this, a nice bevel edge cut, um, you know, the 45 degree angle going inwards, and then you're ready to tape your artwork in.